Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get a free diamond Demontis Sabonis. Um, I wasn't actually going to make a video on this. I said earlier in a video I released earlier today that I wasn't going to, but you know what? I decided I am going to because I think a lot of y'all are probably not even aware that this is a thing, and I think it is worth drawing attention to for my no money spent boys out there who are trying to upgrade their center position because this Sabonis card isn't terrible. I mean, he's a decent center option, and given being given away entirely for free really is not a bad reward. Um, considering how easy this grind is. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and let's check this. Um, let, let's check these challenges out. So we're just going to knock this out real quickly. And these are not hard challenges at all. I've already done the first two groups. Perfection Rookie, Perfection Pro, Perfection All-Star. Perfection Rookie, blow out. Wow. Perfection Rookie gives you a Gems of the Game card. Just like it's going to be a gold, probably. Um, Perfection Pro gives you an 80 plus overall hidden gem, so probably an emerald. And then Perfection All Star, when you complete it, gives you Demontis Sabonis. I have not done Perfection All Star yet, but I did Perfection Rookie and Perfection Pro in a total of two breakout games one for the rookie challenges and one for the pro challenges. These are super duper easy challenges, by the way. First one score four points in the paint and screw shoot 100% field goal with a player in a game. Then make two three pointers, shoot 100% from three with a player in a game, and win a game by five points or more. I did that all in the same breakout game, made two threes with Devin Booker, two inside buckets with Wimby, and um, won the game by more than five points. That was it. I shot the rest of my shots with my third card. That's how I'd recommend doing it. No matter which cards you use, you obviously don't need the best cards, but I'd recommend something like this. Let's just think say you use Halliburton for the threes. You use Ronnie Cycli for the inside buckets. And then after you get those two challenges done, you throw in somebody else in your lineup and you shoot the rest of your shots with that. That's basically what I would recommend doing for these challenges because once you get the 100% from three or 100% from the field for those challenges, then you should probably shoot the rest of your shots with a different player is basically what I would recommend. But for me, I, the lineup I used was going to be Dr. J and Debo, which is always nice. And then the second set of challenges, basically the exact, the, the pretty much the exact same. Shoot, score eight points in the paint, shoot 100% from the field of the player in a game, make four three pointers, and shoot 100% from from three in the game, and win by ten points or more. It's the exact same challenges, just doubled. And honestly, this took me technically two breakout games because the first breakout game I did, I missed my second three point attempt with the book, and so I just quit the game and then played another one and then got it done immediately. Once you miss. Because to get both of these challenges done in one game, you got to get 12 points off threes and then eight points in the paint. So once you miss a three, you don't have enough uh, points allotted, basically, to get all of the stuff done in the same game anymore. So I just quit out to make sure I got it all done. Um, didn't want to waste time, basically. So that is what I did. And I got this set of challenges done super easily as well. Literally 10 minutes of grinding so far for the first two groups. So that's really, really easy. I have not actually looked at this third group yet, though. And honestly, 14 points in a paint, shoot 100% from the field of the player in a game. Still not that hard in breakout. Make five threes and shoot 100% from three into the player in a game. Honestly, a little harder, but on really easy difficulty rookie breakout, not that hard. Win a game by 15 points or more. Also, in my opinion, not that hard in rookie difficulty breakout, but also you could do this in domination. Like just do it on rookie domination if you're worried about winning by 15 or more. And then get one triple double and shoot 100% from the field of the player in a game. Honestly, that's a similar challenge to this paint point challenge. Honestly, I just knocked this all out in one domination game. Go get the points in the paint off of like backdoor cutting your best big. Just try not to miss. If you miss, you can quit and restart the game. But once you get the 14 points from the field, um, then just get points and re get rebounds and assists as well with that player, and you'll have um, the triple-double done easily. And the five threes, I mean, in a rookie domination game, you can try that with multiple players. If you miss a three with one player, try with a different player. And it's probably something you're going to be able to get done pretty easily in rookie dom and then win by 15 points or more. If you can't win a rookie dom game by 15 points or more, I don't know what to tell you. So literally... This is entire in its entirety, probably a 40 minute grind. Not bad. This is the type of stuff piggybacking off the video that I made earlier today that should be done for moments content. It is so simple and so easy to connect to the real life NBA. I'm sorry. I don't think people are all that excited about Diamond Don DeMontis Sabonis, but I will say if they keep doing this on a weekly basis, giving away more and more diamonds and stuff, I will be plus pleased with that like that's going to be a positive i also got 82 overall hito turkaloo congratulations to me for my hidden gem pack but i don't think this sabonis card like he's not the best card ever but he's not totally horrible for some people who might need a big like he's a good shooting big good release solid dunker uh 84 block 84 interior good really good rebounder but he is slow 68 speed that's the biggest issue with this card if he was a little faster i'd be higher on him but as is 
He's not particularly fast, so I don't think he's a great card. But for a no money spent player, somebody new to my team, stuff like that, he might be a decent backup big for some people and stuff like that. And hopefully this is an indicator of more things to come in the future like this, because I think this is the first time that they've just randomly dropped a free diamond as a grindable reward in challenges this year that I am aware of, like outside of a Friday event or a Sunday triple threat park win streak or something like that. I think this is the first time that they've actually um, dropped something along these lines where it's just a free grindable diamond, do a couple challenges, you get a free diamond like this that wasn't involved in some sort of Friday or Sunday event. So that is a good thing. I mean, this is good. I don't think Simonis is a great card, but I do think this is good progress as a whole by the mode, I am gonna turn off my face camera quickly just so I can grab this for a uh, thumbnail real quickly. Just grab that screen and there we go. Um, but yeah, I I'm honestly not angry about this. Now, again, this needs to be done better and more consistently. If this was once a week, every Wednesday, we get a free grindable card with a few challenges, that would be great. Cause then you have Sunday triple threat win streak content, Tuesday pack content, Friday pack content, drop events on Fridays most of the time, and then a grindable card on Wednesday as well each week. That's not bad. Like they would be doing a better job if this type of stuff was consistent and also maybe a little bit better. I think the reason they dropped Sabonis as the grindable reward is because he's not that good. You could have easily dropped a better diamond big as a grindable reward, I would say, um, but whatever. I mean, if you're gonna drop a diamond, drop somebody a little bit more desirable than Demontis Sabonis maybe, but I guess that's kind of the point. Like. Give us Diamond Andrew Wiggins, credible for free. That'd be fire. Diamond Kenyon Martin. Um, they did do Jalen Green already, I guess. But one of these diamonds, like Greatest Era Diamond, like Willis Reed, make him free. Um, there's a variety of cards they could put in here that I think could be more desirable than Demontis Sabonis. But hopefully this is, like I said, an indicator of things to come in my team. And maybe they're hearing the amount of criticism and the amount of frustration with their game. I mean, Ty dropped a video earlier today literally saying, is this game dead already? And I think the answer is yes. Like my team is quickly dying and it's their own fault. The last couple of weeks of content have been pretty disastrous. Um, so I, I don't really know what to think right now about my team and what their plan is, but this is solid, not great, but solid free content and something that is encouraging to see more than anything else because of the potential of this bringing more to the game in the future that is actually worth grinding. Um, it's something new and it's something extra, which is good, even if it's not great. Hopefully it will get better in terms of the quality of the cards, and hopefully this is something that will remain consistent. We will have to wait and see. With that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. So I hope y'all did enjoy. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all would like to see changed in my team, what y'all's biggest frustrations are with the mode right now, that type of stuff. And let me know if you're getting the Savonis card as well. And if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.